Sextortion, a term derived from combining sex and extortion, is a type of online blackmail. In these cases, perpetrators threaten to expose intimate photos, videos, or sensitive material to extort money or other favors from their victims. So how often do sextortion videos get posted? And do sextortion scammers follow through with their threats? Let's delve deeper into this disturbing world, explore its effects on victims, and provide guidance on what to do with sextortion. The prevalence of sextortion, statistics and reality. While pinpointing the exact number of sextortion incidents and how often videos get posted is challenging due to underreporting, the consequences for victims are clear. Humiliation, shame, and in some cases, life-altering consequences. Some studies estimate that sextortion affects thousands of people worldwide every year. The Brookings Institution reported that between 2012 and 2018, there were at least 3,642 sextortion victims in the United States alone. That number's only grown since then. Do sextortion scammers follow through on their threats? Not every sextortion attempt results in the public posting of compromising material. However, scammers do follow through with their threats often enough to cause widespread concern. The fear of exposure and the potential damage to the victim's personal life career, and relationships can lead to compliance in meeting the blackmailer's demands. The Emotional Toll of Sextortion Regardless of whether a sextortionist follows through with their threats, the emotional impact on the victim can be devastating. Victims may experience panic, depression, and anxiety, with some even considering self-harm or suicide to escape the situation. The consequences of sextortion extend far beyond the individual and may involve the victim's family, friends, and the broader community. What to do with sextortion, taking control and seeking help. If you are a victim of sextortion, it's essential to act quickly and decisively. So here is what you need to do. Do not comply with the blackmailer's demands. It's important to remember that meeting their demands will not guarantee that they won't ever share the material. It might lead to more coercion and blackmail. By not complying, you take power away from the perpetrator. Preserve all communication with the blackmailer. Make sure to save any messages, emails, or chat logs that you had with the blackmailer as these may be valuable evidence in seeking justice or protecting yourself in the future. Report the incident to law enforcement. Contact your local police department and the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center, IC3. They can provide guidance and help you navigate this difficult situation. Seek support from friends, family, or counseling services. You don't have to face this situation alone. Reach out to people that you trust for emotional support and consider seeking professional counseling to help you cope with some of the psychological impacts of sextortion. Be vigilant about your online privacy and security. Change your passwords, enable two-factor authentication, and ensure the security of your devices and accounts to prevent future incidents. And on top of these steps, you can add contacting digital investigation to the list. You know, we understand the fear and the uncertainty that comes with such situations, but we are here to help you overcome them and emerge stronger. Our services provide robust protection against various threats, utilizing forensic analysts to gather evidence against these blackmailers, facilitating victims in regaining control of their lives, and of course, assisting in removing malicious posts and tracking down these perpetrators wherever they are. So if you have found this video helpful, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe so that you can keep yourself and your loved ones safe and you know informed on these prevalent online crimes. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay safe out there.